probably just say what I actually do, eh? Well, obviously I still bodyboard when it's good. I haven't quit. When the waves are good, I'm probably, I'll still be out there for sure. And I'll still do trips from time to time, just when I feel like it. I basically just only surf when I actually want to. I don't force myself to do it. Sometimes it might be a lot all at one time or just not for a fair while. Just depends on what mood I'm in. But I still do love this sport and a lot of my mates still do it. So I'm always up to date with what's going on. But I just kind of chose to pursue other stuff in my life that interested me and I just, to a certain degree, just burn out from chasing it around and competing and all that. But I still do like the sport a lot and when it's good, they'll be out there for sure. So hopefully that puts everyone's questions to rest if there is questions, but that's about it, I guess. I consider John O one of the best riders right now in the water, if not the best. And uh, if you know, if the general consensus is that he's not, then he's definitely underrated.
Yeah, that just thumbs up Jono to a T. I think, like I was talking about before, his manoeuvres are just, um, his repertoire of manoeuvres is flawless. Like, look at that way, for example, like, you know, two back flips in a row, which are probably exactly the same, no flaws, and then just, you know, it's just stock standard Jono. It's just precise and consistent. He's really consistent. I think that's, um, I think he's probably the most consistent rider I've ever seen, actually. That's probably his biggest attribute, just super consistent.